So we're here today to join Casey Martin, Billy Green, and Miss Tiffany Leanne Yerby in the bonds of Holy Mountain. When two hearts are bound together in the bonds of holy Christian matrimony, it is a blessed and sacred moment. We recognize that marriage is an important part of God's plan for mankind. God himself long ago ordained and instituted marriage, and it was he who performed the first wedding ceremony in the Garden of Eden. When our Lord Jesus Christ came into this world, he chose a wedding in Cana in Galilee to perform his first mighty miracle. In order to achieve success in this, the highest of all human mankind is a commitment. We must look to God's word for direction. The Bible says that you are to submit yourselves one to other, one to another in the fear of God. Wives, you are to submit yourselves unto your husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Husbands, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. A man shall leave his father and mother 
and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. The beautiful love you share with each other is described in 1 Corinthians 13. There the Bible says, love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or self or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do wrong. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth went out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to him, no matter what the cost. You will also believe in him, always expect the best of him, and always stand your ground in defending him. All the special gifts and powers from God will someday come to an end. But love goes on forever. Someday prophecy and speaking in unknown tongues and special knowledge, these gifts will disappear. There are three things that remain. Faith, hope, love, and the greatest of these is love. Okay. Can you say that? They have chose to read their own vows, so listen for them. Casey, I love you with everything in my heart. You are my best friend and my lover. You are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I thank God for you every day. I promise to always respect you, care for you, laugh with you, and be faithful to you, and cherish every moment we spend together. I love you. You're the only most amazing and loving person that I've ever met. You are the love of my life. I'm best friend. I promise to love you and support you and respect you and honor you and stay by your side through good times and bad times. I will comfort you from the sorrow and nourish you from sickness back to health. I will cherish you and our lives together from this day forward and all the days of my life. Time more the rain has been used to seal this most important of all human commitments. The rain is a beautiful symbol of your love, and that it is an unending circle symbolizing the eternity of your love. And the purity of gold in the rain symbolizes the purity of your love in God's eyes and the marriage relationship. So Casey, will you take this rain which is a beautiful symbol and meaningful token of your love for Tiffany, and place it on the ring finger of her left hand while holding it in place. Repeat these words. No. With this ring, I thee wish. With loyal love, I thee endow. And all my worthy goods with thee I share. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tiffany, would you place the ring on Casey's hand, please? Okay, Tiffany, this ring is a beautiful symbol and meaningful token of your love for Casey. Will you now place it on the ring finger of his left hand and while holding it in place, repeat these words to him. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. With loyal love, I be endowed. And all my worthy goods with thee I share. And all my worthy goods I share. With thee I share. With thee I share. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
now having placed your faith in each other and love for each other and having sealed that pledge through the exchange of these rings and by your solemn vows to each other before God, I, acting in the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, am looking to God for his divine approval upon your life and pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And then you may kiss your bride. But if all family members, immediate family, would stay and have pictures first, please. Thank you.